Hello, 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 hello. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu awabariki sana. So leo ninataka kuongea kuhusu matunda. Kuhusu matunda, the fruits that we normally see. Kuna watu wameniuliza ndoto nyingi sana kuhusu matunda. Unajua katika maisha yetu nitajaribu niongee nieleze kwa Kiswahili. Katika maisha ambayo tunaishi inaweza kuelezwa kwa njia hata ya kutumia matunda. Unaweza sema somebody is fruitful in life meaning that mtu amefaulu katika maisha, mtu amefanikiwa. But if somebody is unfruitful or something the outcome was unfruitful inamaanisha kwamba haikufanikiwa. So matunda hutumika kwa kueleza zaidi kuhusu mafanikio. Sasa kuna watu wengi wameniuliza ndoto kuhusu matunda. Sasa leo nitaweza kueleza if you are just watching me for the first time ni uh, am Angelica Angelic and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel kindly do so you support me by doing so. Ninapojaribu ku fafanua ama kueleza maana za ndoto nyingi maana maisha yetu zile ndoto tunaota ni za maana sana. So ndoto ya kwanza ukiota unaona matunda ambayo imeiva matunda ambayo imeiva avocado imeiva ndizi imeiva maembe imeiva most of the time matunda ambayo imeiva unaiona haujaichuna ama hujaichukua unaiona tu kwa mti unaona mti iko na matunda ambazo zimeiva hii inamaanisha kwamba you um, kuna mbegu umebeba ndani yako mbegu ambayo ni ya mafanikio tele na mbegu ambayo itafanikisha itakufanikisha kwa maisha na, bar, na itasababisha baraka nyingi sana maishani mwako na kama kwa wakati huo uko kwenye ndoa inamaanisha kwamba utakuwa na ndoa ambayo imejawa na baraka na pesa utakuwa na financial breakthrough in your life and uh, utakuwa na mafanikio maishani mwako ukiona mti ambayo iko na matunda ambazo zimeiva matunda ambazo ziko tayari and then ndoto ya pili ukiona unachuna matunda kutoka kwa mti ukiona unachunda matunda kutoka ma- kwa mti haijalishi ni matunda gani matunda yeyote ukiona tu unachuna matunda ambayo imeiva kutoka kwa mti hii inamaanisha kwamba ndani yako kuna kitu umekuwa ukitegemea ama umekuwa ukimtarajia Mungu akutendee na liko karibu kutimia ama kuna mipango kama ulikuwa na miradi kuna miradi fulani unataka kuanzisha na wote unachuna matunda usiku kwa ndoto inamaanisha kwamba hiyo miradi inaenda kufanikiwa so you just go ahead and proceed with your plans because the Lord has gone ahead of you and you are going to be fruitful in whatever you are going to do in your career you are going to be fruitful in your career in your business kwa biashara in 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 your marriage you are going to be fruitful ukiona unachunda matunda ambayo imeiva kutoka kwa mti and then ndoto namba tatu. ukiona kwamba una unapewa matunda mtu anakupatia matunda ambayo imeiva mtu anakupatia matunda ambayo imeiva matunda yoyote matunda yeyote ambayo imeiva hiyo inamaanisha kwamba kuna watu ama kuna mtu ambao wameashiriwa wame wamelekezwa kukusaidia destiny helpers kuna destiny helpers who are about to locate you in your life maybe you are trusting god for something and then all of a sudden usiku kunaonta mtu anakupatia matunda ambayo imeiva iko tayari destiny helpers are about to locate you and that's a very very good dream whenever you dream it wake up and thank the lord because things are going to work and be well in your life so ndoto ndoto namba tano ndoto namba nne ukiota unaona mtu anaiba matunda kutoka kwako pengine ulikuwa na matunda kwa ndoa ulikuwa na matunda kwa kikapu ulikuwa na matunda umetoka kwa soko mtu akakunyang'anya tu all of a sudden ulikuwa na matunda kwa ndoa umeweka mahali ukarudi ukapata haziko ulikuwa na matunda mahali ukaona mtu anaiba na amenda nazo ukiota mtu anakuibia matunda hii ni ndoto mbaya sana maana inamaanisha kuna kitu ya dhamana sana unaenda kupoteza kwa maisha yako na tena kuna milango za mashida zinaenda kufunguliwa maisha shani mwako na kuna hali ngumu ambazo unaenda kukutana nazo kwa maisha yako so unapoota ukiamka asubuhi ni kuomba na urejeshe kila matunda ya baraka maishani mwako chochote ambacho adui ameiba kutoka kwako ikarudishwe katika jina la Yesu you know the bible tells us that the enemy he came to, to to kill to destroy and to he came to destroy to kill and he, he, he came also to to do what he is a thief because we know that the enemy is a thief and his mission is stealing so whenever you dream there's some, somebody is stealing from you in the dream it is a very very bad dream it is a very very bad dream according to the, the how the bible describes the enemy
tunaelewa according to how the bible des describes the enemy he, he is somebody who doesn't want good for the people of god so ukiota mtu anaiba matunda yako ama anakuibia kitu ambayo uko nacho kumbuka kwamba hiyo sio ndoto nzuri hiyo sio ndoto nzuri ukeme na uishinde katika jina la Yesu and then ndoto ingine ukiota kwamba unaona matunda ambazo zimeoza unaona matunda ambayo imeoza maishani mwako unaona matunda avocado imeoza unaona maembe ambayo imeoza unaona kitu yote ambayo imeoza inamaanisha kwamba kwa maisha yako kwa maisha yako appearance yako ya nje vile watu wanakuona wanakuona oppositely inamaanisha kuna kitu ambayo inachafua appearance yako so that you can't gain favor even before the eyes of men auwezi ukavutia baraka your outward look is very very bad ukiota matunda ambayo imeoza that one speaks to you that your outward look is very very bad bila watu wanakuona ki nje wachana na kindani ki nje ni vibaya sana yani iwezi kavutia mtu akufanyie mema ama akupatie job opportunity yenye ilikuwa imetokelezea ama need. kuna kuna watu wengine hata unapata mtu ameitwa interview amefanya interview ama ameitwa kazi then kufika pale boss ama yule anajiri watu wanamuona kumuona tu hivi nafasi yake inapewa mtu mwingine the outward look so ukiota matunda ambayo imeoza your outward look is not is not pleasant as at all so ndoto ya saba ukiota kwamba unaona matunda unaona mti bila matunda ukiota unaona mti bila matunda iwe ni mti ya maembe avocado mti ya mapera unaona tu mti bila matunda inamaanisha your life is is barren maisha ambayo imekaukiwa maisha ambayo haina matunda yote maisha ambayo haina mafanikio maisha ambayo imejawa na changamoto maisha ambayo umedharauliwa maisha ambayo umekataliwa maisha ambayo haina faida yote unajaribu chochote unajaribu kila kitu maisha yani kufanya ili ufaulu lakini hakuna kitu yote inafaulu ukielekea karibu kufaulu unapata tena unarudishwa nyuma hii ndio ukiona ukiona unaona mti ambayo haina matunda so when you wake up just pray cancel it and declare fruitfulness over your life and everything will be well with you and then uh, another dream ukiona unaona matunda ma, mabichi unaona matunda mabichi Unaona maembe mbichi, unaona avocado mbichi, unaona vitu mbichi, unamaanisha hii matunda bado haijakoma, haijaiva. Iko katika process ya kuelekea iko mai alakisha iive. So hii inamaanisha kwamba kwa maisha yako kuna kitu ambao unatarajia itendeke. Lakini you are still in the process, you are in the waiting process. You are you, you are you are seasons of blessing bado haijakuja majira yako ya baraka bado haijakuja lakini inaandaliwa so you need to be patient and as you are being patient in the lord you pray you wait faithfully in the lord and you be patient and also you pray against the spirit of delays ukiona mti iko na matunda lakini matunda hazijaiva inamaanisha kwamba you need to be patient in your life and you need to wait upon the lord faithfully and patiently and you need to pray and cancel the spirits of delays and everything will be okay with you. Ukiota ndoto ya tisa, umeota kwamba una nunua matunda kwa soko ukienda kuuza. Ama umebeba matunda kwa kikapu unaenda kuuza sokoni. Ama umeota unanunua matunda sokoni, unanunua matunda. Inamaanisha kwamba shida ya pesa. Na tena inamaanisha mahangaiko maishani. Why? Because we ourselves we carry the fruits. I think you just you are understanding me. Maisha yetu ikiwa imefanikiwa we are called fruitful we are fruitful in everything that we are doing and if we are fruitful why should we buy fruit if you are fruitful why should you see yourself buying a fruit in the market that's the question that you shall ask you should ask yourself so ukijiona okay, unanunua matunda kwa soko hiyo ni shida mbaya sana maishani mwako utakosa fedha utangangana kufaulu maishani na unapata kwamba kuna vitu mingi sana utapoteza kwa maisha yako. So hiyo ni ndoto mbaya ukiota you need to cancel it. And then ndoto ya kumi, ndoto ya mwisho. Ukiota kwamba unaona matunda zimeanguka chini mingi. Either zimeanguka kutoka kwa mti ama mtu alikuwa amebeba akizikanguka ama unatembea tu na ukakutana na maavokado, maembe, mapera ziko chini zimemwagika. Kisha ukaanza kuziokota ukaanza kuokota zile matunda maybe umeziokota na zikula ama unaziokota unaziweka mahali this means affliction 
kuna jambo ambalo linakuja maishani mwako na sio nzuri kuna mapito ambayo inakuja niseme kuna majaribu kuna majaribu ambayo inakuja maishani mwako so you are being prepared so you need to pray and be ready and also it means that there is something that you need to deal with in your find this is a foundation a foundation of witchcraft yani uchawi wa kifamilia uchawi wa kifamilia kutoka kitambo kwa familia yenu kitu ambayo imekuwa pale ikakuwa na mizizi maybe roho ya uchawi ambayo imekuwa pale na ikakuwa na mizizi utaota unaokota vitu ambazo matunda ambazo zimemwagika so ukiota ndoto kama hiyo ukiamka asubuhi you need to pray and cancel them and claim your blessings back claim your possession back and claim everything back and once again i just want to remind you unapoota hizi ndoto Mungu anakuonesha ili ukaweze kusimama kwa maombi. So kuna vitu zingine ukiota kwenye ndoto. Ukiomba haziwezi zikatimia na usipoomba zinatimia. Na pia kuna vitu zingine ukiota kwenye ndoto. No matter how you pray lazima zitatimia kwa maana ni mpango ya Mungu. And then I will I would like to advise people. Kuna watu ambao wamekuwa ukicomment sana wananiuliza akiota kitu inatendeka. So actually I want to tell you there are some people who are like that. Ukiota kijambo lazima itendeke. Lakini ukiota jambo na ume realize kwamba wewe ukiwa wakati wote umeota jambo wa inatendeka then unafaa kama ni jambo mabaya kama ni kitu mbaya cancel it as soon as possible as soon as you wake up cancel that dream na kama ni ndoto nzuri ya baraka kama ndoto ya mafanikio naona umeota ukiamuka tu hivi kubali ile ndoto ne, taja neno la Bwana kwenye ile ndoto na uombe ukaribishe ile ndoto ukaribishe ile baraka ukaribishe kile ulichoona kwenye ndoto na Mungu atakubariki na utapata kwamba una zile ndoto zinatimia ma, maisha ni mwako. So hizi ndoto ninaamini zitafaidisha mtu mmoja au mwingine wawili na Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana. Kama bado ja subscribe to my YouTube channel kindly do so. God bless you very much. God bless you very much. God bless you very much. And kindly remember the enemy came to steal, to kill and to destroy. So you need to be very very alert. He has three missions. First of all to steal, Mwizi alikuja kuiba, alikuja kuangamiza na alikuja kuua. So be very very careful. Whenever you dream, be careful with your dreams and may the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you all.